So now that that's done, what we're going to actually do is we've got our Neato cup here. So say we want to start selling this online in our Neato POS store. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add that in. So again, we'll go to the product page. So to do that, we'll go to the menu, click products, and click add product. Okay, now it's going to ask you what type of products you actually want to be selling. So for this example, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to tell you about two. So there's a regular base product, which is normal household items such as our cup, and then we've got product with variations. So if you're selling clothing uh, and you have different sizes and things like that, you want to select product with variations. Okay, so we're going to go ahead now and we're going to click regular product. Okay, we want to give our product a name, we're going to call it uh, the Neato Cup. We're going to scroll down now, you can actually give it a subtitle if you want as well. And then we want to go down to the description part, okay, now it tells a little bit about the product. Buy me please, with a cherry on top. Uh, now we want to add a product category. So when you're adding multiple products, you want, uh, when you're in store and you're going through and you're trying to find a product for a customer, you, what you want to do is you want to set up your product categories. So it's just nice and easy, makes things neat. So we're going to add a product category for our cups. We're going to call it the cup collection. So to do that, there's a little drop down menu here. And we want to click add new product category. Uh, ask for a name, cup collection, okay, press OK, and we've added it into our new category. Now the other thing we need to do is we need to give the product a price, and we also need an image of the product, so it's nice and easy for us to remember. So in here, you'll see just directly underneath product category, you'll see the pricing, so we're going to say our cup's going to cost us $10. Okay, done. Now directly underneath that, we want to take a photo of our cup. Now what I've actually done is I've got a little label on this one, which I can show you in a different video how you can actually set up your own labels if you don't have any with your products, okay? So for this example though, let's just take a picture. So if you've got your image on your iPad already, or whether you're doing it on your desktop, you can just press choose file and select that. Otherwise, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a quick photo of our coffee cup. So do that. And press use photo. And that'll load up. Easy. Okay, so now we want to give the product a SKU or stock keeping unit number. So again, if you don't have any, you can just make this up. Okay, so for this one, we're going to say, oh, we'll just call it Neato Cup. Okay, and also if you have a barcode in there, you may want to enter that in as well. In our example, we've actually done up our own barcode, so we're going to enter that in here. We won't show you how to do that in this video, but we will link some documentation on how to do this yourself. This will come in handy later on when we want to scan our items in so it actually gets recognized. Okay, so let's go ahead, add that information in. And then press the continue button. There we go, we've added the product in. Now you can press continue editing if you want to add a bit more information in. Apart from that, we're done.